Hello everybody, Maddock here with some more Let's Play Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed. In the last part we did some expert mode and now we're going to do that again. Um, since the last part, another DLC character came out. Ryu has... has it's the guy from Shenmue. He's now riding around in some contraption arcade machine. It says Space Carrier on one side and Outrun Bay on the other. Which are both Sega titles. I figured I would show him off at least once, but like Yogscast, I don't really like playing as him that much. If for no other reason, because he's already maxed out star-wise. If you look at the screen there, I don't remember exactly what game for that is. I want to say it's Outrun Bay, actually, but I don't know. It looks like a 16-bit racer, so... Kind of hard to tell. I'm sure somebody's probably already hacked the ROM and figured out what it is, but whatever. Anyways, though, like the last few parts, I had to do some uh, splicing for all these because I could not possibly hope to get all these in my first try. That makes it. These weren't as hard as the last bit. Because with the exception of the very last mission, I got all these within either my first or second try. So... They weren't that bad. Actually, no, there's two that are exceptions to that, but still... Most of them were still pretty easy. Relatively. I don't want to say they're easy, because they're not, but... Easy compared to what I had to go through last time. That traffic attack thing was just brutal. They expect people to do that? Without cheating? <laughs> I don't know what to think! But, um... Blockage. I don't know if I wound up getting the all-star in this take. I don't even remember what his all-star is. I know it is in the first game. If that means anything, it's that forklift that you're using. You, you drive around the forklift, you actually get an achievement for it. <laughs> Why that is, I don't know, but you do. Hmm. Everybody's going all star, but me. Me and my speed upgrade. Well, not really upgrade, side grade. Side grade sounds like a more appropriate term. It's funny, it seems like in different modes the screen for Outrun Bay just shrinks a little bit compared to Drive. I don't know, maybe that's just perspective. In fact, it probably is just perspective, but it's odd regardless. Just gotta get Ralph. And the fire in my laser thing. You know, that was still beautiful. I'm actually impressed that the game was able to fire that without lagging too much. So, props to the game on that. Really? More all star. Oh, swarms. I don't know what the point of firing those things is while you're in airplane mode. You can just fly over or under them in almost every scenario. There's exceptions, but how often are they? Second to none. Oh, that hair. <laughs> Just looks like a black glob. Whoa. With it deep. That is very deep. He did, in fact, get first place. I am very impressed by his abilities of perspective. Or perception. One of those two. And then, now that we've shown off Rio, and I will probably never show him off again, let's go to Amigo. Want to check out different stats. I'm going to go standard, but. Uh. Alright, here's another one of those tough cuts. So, if it sounds a little off, it's because I, I had a fail. Only one, though, so not too bad, but. The fail wasn't funny or anything, so... If it's funny, I'm keeping it in, or at the very least, I'm going to tag it at the end. 
but mm. despite being expert mode, this one actually isn't terribly difficult. I mean, I'm using Amigo and he's not even that fast. Just use boosts when you're given them. But you should be okay. I don't. It's not really that tough. It's so surprising to me compared to say the traffic attacks, which are all right, brutal. Seems like every five or every six or something like that is when they give us the boost. So let's see. Gonna count after we use a boost. Just to be sure. It was four that time, I think. It might have been five. I it boosted right around when it went through a ring, so I'm not sure. But whatever. Doesn't really matter. Four or five, something like that. Maybe it's varied between different ring sets. I don't know. Or maybe checkpoints. Something. Important thing is we finished. Ah, the loading. Alright, before we go on this way, we've got some other little gimmicks we gotta do up here. Along that route, you have to go to to unlock Shadow. Just go Sonic. Standard set. I want to see what my options were, but I'm gonna go Standard. Alright, so... More rough cuts. Starting now. Yep, you probably heard that one. I'm not fixing that. <laughs> Whatever. I only got level 2 boost, but uh, I wasn't really paying attention, so whatever. This was one of those ones that took me more than two tries. Not necessarily because AI is hard. Well, it was considering how it seems like every character was getting all-star in this map, but... It's just the level I'm not very good at. And it's not to point I say Burning Rangers where I'm resorting to calling it cheap. The level's not cheap. It's just, I'm not very good at it. I made a triple flip while hitting the wall. Um, ceiling. Uh, Get yeah, the second one, ceiling. So, amazingly, no one has gotten all star yet. Then, uh, it is lap one, so. Put a little slack in that department, I suppose. I think I'm Metal Sonic. And every lap I was going through with this, Metal Sonic was always the one that was be beating me. Just... And it wouldn't even be that by that much, it would just be a little bit. But eh. Guess that's the never ending struggle. The metal and the. Not metal. The, the, I don't want to say flesh, but uh, the uh, the organic, um, the alive, um, the, uh, the the mascot. That I can go with that one. The mascot. Only it's just warm in the middle of this boat section. That's just mean. All star. I got the all-star, but I'm going to save it. I prefer to save it around for when I'm at the boat section or getting close to it, because that's the easiest spot to fail. <laughs> of course there's an all-star. This take, there weren't actually that many all-stars. I think I was thinking of a different lap that had a ton. Literally, almost every single character had an all-star. I think Metal Sonic was the only one that didn't. But... Here we go. Team Fortress got one and I got one. We got General Winters, so now we just gotta not screw up. So look at that map. We're doing fine. Um, we're still doing okay. Just no time to screw up. 
All right. Looks like we still did good. Woot woot. <laughs> that was nice. That was almost too easy. Don't need to brag about it. <sighs> okay, what one is next? I think we're at the versus map now. Yep. Expert or go home. They could go with Knuckles here. Yep. I said check all the options and then go right back to standard. I haven't really used Knuckles that much. I use Knuckles a lot when playing the game normally, but I haven't used them much here. So yeah, that transition was really good. No, actually, I got this one on my first try, so I, I didn't need the transition. And apparently the computer had me drifting and I wasn't holding drift and yeah, things of that nature. I forgot how much I, I like Knuckles. He's really good at turning without being... He's good at drifting turning. Which is a handy little skill to have. Considering you're not giving up a terrible lot of speed. Yeah, beat Amy just by default. Looks like I might wind up doing the same thing with the Joe Musak. Oh my goodness. I can't pronounce names. I'm not even going to try. It's a tough name to pronounce. That's all I need to know. <laughs> Take it, the twister didn't hit him. Oh, there we go. And we magically warp forward again. Uh, good job. Now we're racing Shadow. Done that twice now. Wow. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, dang it. I thought I was gonna time out right there. Wouldn't that have been nice? Oh, we're gonna time. We're gonna time out. Yeah. Time out in a good way. I had no control over that. Also, I didn't know that doing that caused you to be blinking right there. <laughs> Which I guess confirms that those scenes aren't rendered. But. <laughs> Whatever. Knuckles got a speed mod. Good for him. Let's uh, continue. So I think we have three more maps we gotta do for this part, so let's just get through them. With skills. Shinobi stage. It's one for uh, Joe Musha. I, I don't even know. Alright, so we're still looking for people. i um, tell you, you guys might have not seen it, but uh. Small little cut there. I'm actually recording this the day after that bit you guys just heard. <laughs> That's kind of because I couldn't find any time after that segment I just recorded and my driver broke. But I couldn't see anything. No point in commenting on something if I can't even see it. <laughs> it, uh,. Yeah, we want Vice here on the Shinobi. I don't even know what it's called. It's Shinobi. On um, its basic race, and uh, we've seen this all before. <laughs> it's not to say it isn't fun, but for the story mode, it starts wearing on you. <laughs> even if it is brutally difficult. <laughs> To be fair, this isn't the worst run I've had for lap one. I had one where I, I was in tenth place almost from the get go, so. Seventh place by the end of round one. That's pretty good. <laughs> Fifth place? Okay. Could do better, but. Ooh. Why is All Star? I think we need to also get to the water segment. Or not. Or yes! I don't know what I'm talking about. 
Also, I'm now in plane mode, even though there's no planes in this level. Those are probably the best levels to get the all-stars in. The ones there's not even an airplane in. Since planes naturally fly faster than cars drive or boats also drive. Can you say that cars... or no, Can you say that boats drive or do they swim or... A swim doesn't sound right. Accelerate? I don't know. I'm sure it's a proper term and it's really obvious and I just don't know what it is because of stupid reasons. But... Whatever. Second lap, and we're already leading. So, good for us. But it's me, and you for watching. Thank you all for watching. Naturally, I'd say that at the end of every video, but oh crap, swarm. <laughs> that was a terrible swarm placement. Oh my goodness. No, that might have actually been a good one. If it had been shot just a little bit earlier, or a little bit later, with the fact that it was on that waterfall, yeah, no one's gonna hit that. Yeah. I'm gonna miss something. Probably gonna wind up getting hit by that. Yep. Whatever. Still got plenty of a lead. Not a huge lead, but I actually hit somebody. Wow. That, that rock actually hit somebody. I'll leave that as a prize. So I do a bunch of backflips. That, if you're noticing that I do with more backflips than anything else, it's because I find it easier with the control setup I have. So, that's why. For the same reason, if I have to do a roll, I'll usually do a left roll as compared to a right one. Not that I won't do one at the either, but... Nothing mm -hmm. is impossible. That was a bit hard, I'll admit, but... Fix one, bow race. Remember back when I first did these and I said the best strategy is to absolutely fail and go into last place, and then I took back what I said because I did better when I was racing first? For expert mode, that advice I said was wrong is actually quite applicable. I mean, absolutely fail. Don't have to figure out how I was doing. Nope. Decelerate. Nope. Okay. There's only five places here. And if you can kill off the other four, then you win by default. Just want a bit of distance behind you so you can see any attacks coming at you. So I was getting a lot of blowfish for some reason. Tried to hit that one. That didn't go so well. That's rude. Come on, ah, whatever. Hey, does Team Fortress already have a hit? Must. Also, a Team Fortress is doing on a Song Tetchog level will never be an understood will it <sighs> AC Fortress is on their last life there they go which puts us at fourth instead of fifth that's that's good let's go for Metal Sonic next it. thought I hit him whatever I guess we're gonna have to gain a little bit more of a lead. Or someone else will eliminate him. My guess is Tails. Which would be handy because Tails only has one hit. Thanks, Sonic. <laughs> Dang it. Sonic only has one HP too though, so he's gotta hit him once. Uh where is he? Where is he? Um, blah, 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 blah. He is up there. Okay. Can I hit him? Come on. I should be able to hit him here. Where is he? Right there? Got him? Yes. Okay. You got quit for a long shot. That's how you do it. First 
one to the finish went. Yeah. Doing pretty good. Still got more though. You saw the video timer. Yes. Oh no, this one. This was probably the hardest one of the bunch for me. I don't know why I picked Joe Musashi, but... Hey, I pronounced his name! I'm impressed by that. Considering I've been calling him... The, the Joe guy, essentially, his entire walkthrough. <laughs> um, yeah. This is the Jet Set Radio level that I'm not terribly fond of. Because I was, I will always get screwed over. See, so yeah, I should release some of the footage I recorded when I didn't get first place on this. Because some of them were unbelievably cheap. You think I'm doing bad right now? Because I'm in seventh. <laughs> Just in the time when they all ganged up at me at the beginning of the stage, and then knocked me onto the road. No, not the road you're supposed to drive on. The road that the cars down below drive on. happened to me on the 360 version, but... It's the first time I've ever seen it happen on the PC one. Don't know, though. Oh yeah, and also apparently Football Manager is invulnerable to any form of fiery attack, as seen right there. That explosion clearly should have hit him. But whatever. Uh oh. Bales is probably gonna pass us. And Rio passed us. That's great. Where did Tails wind up? Is he ahead of us? Or... No, it doesn't look like it. And Pudding got screwed over. Uh, sorry, Pudding. I ain't seen no cops. Rokaku police and then no cops? Okay, um... Should I suggest you to a mental ward or... Somewhere else? I know... Probably more of those places than I should. Two. So, if you need help. I don't know why they picked this for us. It's like, I don't watch him that much, but there's no way that guy can be that annoying. There's no way. I don't know. But I digress. Back into we head. Um. Super jump, I don't know what that means. But, uh. Doing well. I guess. And there we are! That last vehicle there at the very end, amazingly easy to get hit by. Somehow I didn't, but mm. for the Oboro clan. The Oboro clan by Joe Musashi. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but whatever. Okay, so. We finished off the second wave, which is Frozen Valley. So, thank you all for watching, and in the next part, we will head off to. What's it called? Scorching Skies. We'll head to Scorching Skies, so, see you then. Take care.